All right, people. Deluxe shells and cheese. Deluxe. It says that they're right on the package. Find this at Dollar Tree. Says it's delicious. Bonus. Bonus. 35% more. So your net weight here is 3.25 ounces or 92 grams. So the the offering here was not too great before they pumped it up at 35% more. Just like Dollar Tree has pumped up their prices. 25 cents more. Is this worth a dollar twenty-five? Not really. We're gonna find out how it tastes. I follow the directions. Water to the fill line. Remove the cheese packet, the powder, cheese powder packet. Oh, it's not powder, it's deluxe. So this is a cheese gel. It's some goo. A dipsy doo, cheesy goo. I think this should be a one dollar item. Probably if you buy a four pack of these or something from Walmart or on Amazon, you will probably get a better deal than a dollar twenty-five for under 100 grams of food. I knew what would happen here. I had this peeled back, water in, three and a half minutes uh, to the fill line. See, do not overfill. Yet it still bubbled up and got starchy water all over the microwave, so I had to clean that. I saw it coming from a mile away. I even had napkins under it, and it was so much bubbled over that it got on the napkins. So it says there's supposed to be extra water. That looks like a lot. Now I'm, I'm wondering if I did overfill this. See, the line is right there. Oh, I got some pencil eraser in here. All right, that's hot. Yeah, all right, I, I think I did overfill it. Anyway, let's go ahead, add the cheesy goo. Do you need scissors for this? Nope, you don't need scissors. That's good to know. Take a little taste, a little nibble of that cheese there. Does it tell, taste like Velveeta? Shells and cheese, cheese, no. Does it taste like Kraft Deluxe? No, it tastes weird. It tastes unique, but it tastes weird. This is gonna have too much water in it now. But we can still get a general idea if this is decent or not. Well, that, che that cheese tastes strange. No kick, if you can relate. If you've had Velveeta shells and cheese or Kraft Deluxe, the cheese has a kick to it. No kick, no kick here. This, this is uh, another Silly Reviews disaster. I have made a shells and cheese soup, which isn't an awful idea, and it is so hot, really hot. I feel like if you had this, if you didn't overfill it, and if you could drop some bacon bits in here or something, that'd be really good. Another thing is, these shells are not cooked at all. Three and a half minutes, the water boiled over, lots of water, too much water. These shells are so firm. That's not el dente, that's el firm a. Man, I really make good jokes. All right, that's mixed up. I'm going to give it a taste. I'm going to blow it off, and I'm going to give it a taste, and I'll let you know about the Dollar Tree Deluxe Shells and Cheese. You're getting 35% more. Well, there we go. Now we got a nice fill. That's really good on the gaming uh, mouse pad here. Well, this is this is really a disaster. Now, my hands are all sticky. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get a taste in. I'll let you know, okay? You got to blow it off, though, because it's freaking hot. That cheese smells so weird. Don't like it. You know, if it was having this or having nothing, I'd rather have this. But it's not good, and that cheese is weak. Man, that cheese has to pack a punch, and it really does not. This is packaged by a quality pasta company out of Pennsylvania. It, it's packaged there. I don't know where they get their ingredients from. It doesn't say. And we're going to give this a, a thumb and a thumbs down. Ryan here. Silly Reviews, have you tried this stuff? What do you think? Is there a better? Is there a better way? Is there something better at Dollar Tree? Let me know. Thanks for watching.